All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. I'm just ensuring that the camera's rolling because this is about the fourth take, and all of a sudden I look up and the damn thing's not even rolling. But this does give me plenty of time to practice what I'm getting ready to say. Uh, just came out, AP uh, Associated Press, Colleen Long and Zeke Miller uh, talking about Joe Biden signing an executive order as it relates to gun control. So we're going to talk about this real quickly and go over it. Guys, every time you turn around, this cat is trying to do something. And every time he touches something, he destroys it. He's an idiot, and he's uh, completely out of control. Monterey Park, California, President Joe Biden signed an executive order on Tuesday aiming at increasing background checks to buy guns. I don't know how he's going to do that. Promoting more secure firearm storage, okay. And ensuring U.S. law enforcement agencies, such as the ATF, get more out of a bipartisan gun control law enacted last summer. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, the Democratic president was to address his latest efforts to curb gun violence in a speech in the suburban Los Angeles community. And I'm not going to get into it, man, because I've read this thing about 20 times. Uh, this jackass went in there and shot up 20 people. And a gentleman named Brandon Say, 26-year-old, wrestled this dude down, which is I will praise him forever. Uh, you remember that uh, bar down there in Orlando? If one person was carrying a firearm, that could have stopped that whole entire thing. Biden was greeted at Los Angeles Airport Tuesday by Brandon Say, the 26-year-old who wrestled his semi-automatic pistol away from the gunman in Monterey Park. The two shook hands, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Uh, the president has only limited power on guns to go beyond bipartisan legislation passed by Congress last summer after the killings of 10 Buffalo shoppers. And I've said this before, four takes that I did on this damn thing. Uh, what did New York do? Well, they banned just about everything, including body armor. Because you know, if you own a firearm, you're a potential murderer, and they want to be able to kill you. Pretty sick shit. Okay. Tuesday's action does not change U.S. government policy. Rather, it directs federal agencies to ensure compliance with existing laws and procedures. A typical feature of executive orders issued by presidents when they confront the limits of their own power. That's right. Joe, you're not a dictator. You think you are. You think you hey, listen, it's a fact, folks. Listen, take the shot, really? And what did we learn about that? The order directs the cabinet to work on a plan to better structure the government to support communities suffering from gun violence. I agree about that. There are certain communities that suffer. Uh, my neighborhood, not one single person has been shot in our neighborhood since I've been here in 16, 17 years. You go to Baltimore. You go to certain places in Philadelphia. I was in Philadelphia, my first place, and if you guys know Philadelphia, I was up uh, north of Broad Street, North Broad in Germantown. Yeah, within two months, there were two people shot and killed within a block of where I was uh, residing. Needless to say, got the hell out of there, and I didn't leave that place without a hand cannon on my side, no matter what. Uh, Philadelphia's a bad thing. And just just add to that is that when they say that more minors this year have been killed by firearms in history, that's because the uh, majority of these kids, they're gangbanging, they're just doing stupid shit. If they're under 18, that means they're a minor, and they're listed as a minor when they get shot and killed by a firearm. The plan calls on Attorney General Merrick Garland to shore up the rules for federally licensed gun dealers. They've been doing that, okay? So they know they're required to do background checks as part of the You know, how many firearm dealers are there out there just blatantly handing out guns? You know, I don't care about my well-being or my life or anything else. I'm just going to risk it so I can just hand guns out without a background check. Uh, Biden is also mandating better reporting of ballistics data from law enforcement federal law enforcement for a clearinghouse that allows federal, state, and local law enforcement to match shell casings to guns. If this will help track them down, the murderers of innocent folks, uh, gangbangers, street shootings, uh, drive-bys, okay, yeah, let's do that. But local and state law enforcement agencies are not required to report ballistics data, and many do not making the clearinghouse less effective. Whatever. Okay. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. I really don't care about that. Uh, they do a report here about Biden. Under Biden, immediately after he was elected, in March 21, uh, 4.69 million credit uh, background checks by the FBI. And currently, uh, right now, other than Trump, when they started doing a bunch of shit in, in 2020, uh, he holds the record. The president is asking the Federal Trade Commission to issue a public report analyzing how gun manufacturers market to minors and use military images to market to the general public. Oh, here we go. Uh, the Commerce Act. Okay, so how can we go after manufacturers? 
Uh, you know what? You found out what happens when you try to go after oil producers. The same thing. Uh, it's going to backfire on you, jackass. President Biden's executive order today is a home run for public safety, said John Fain Blatt. Uh, yeah, president for every town for gun safety. I'm going to throw up. This is the latest example of President Biden's leadership on gun safety. And we're proud. Okay, can I just do this? This is the latest example of President Biden's leadership on gun safety. And we're proud to stand with him as he takes a robust action to help close the gun seller loophole. They've already done that, I thought. Right? I don't know. I don't sell my guns. Uh, which will significantly expand background checks on gun sales, keep weapons out of the hands of dangerous people, and save lives. It, that, no. No, it won't. There's so many guns in circulation. They're not going to do a whole lot. The bill passed last year, known as the Safer Communities Act, and I think I did a video on it, is viewed by gun control advocates as a good start, but one that doesn't go far enough, like banning all firearms, uh, banning all anything that can do any harm, or banning this or that, banning anything that's sitting back there. We just want to ban them all. <laughs> After the law was signed, there were 11 other mass shootings. Okay, let's just say this. A mass shooting is anything, what, more than three? Three or more? That's a mass shooting. According to the database, and mass killings since 2006 maintained by the Associated Press, USA Today, and Northeastern University, those killings don't include shootings in which fewer than more, fewer than four people were killed. Okay, fewer than four. All right, that's three or more, right? Fewer than four. Okay, so four or more. Right, I don't know how to do math. Gun violence is rising nationwide. Well, the reason it's rising nationwide is that police officers are not allowed to do what they're supposed to do to protect you and me. Uh, they don't want you carrying a gun, but they're not going to do anything about those who do carry a gun and do violence. Pro-gun groups said the order would do little to stop growing gun violence, and that's true. The reality is that nothing in the president's executive order today would have done anything to prevent the recent mass shootings in California, Michigan, or elsewhere, said Katie Pointer Bainey, okay, managing director of government affairs for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. I like her. I like her a lot. It's time for the president and political leaders across the country to have an ominous conversation with the American people and acknowledge there is no legislative fix that will permanently solve the issue of gun violence. And I totally agree with her. What's going to solve the issue of gun violence is cracking down on the assholes out there who are shooting people, okay? Taking guns away from law-abiding citizens is not going to solve any problem. Never has, never will. But what it is is a feel-good deal for those guys. Look, we're doing something. We're taking guns away from people who can legally own them. And doesn't that make you feel safer? Because anyone with a gun, ladies and gentlemen, is a potential killer. Biden will also direct his cabinet to make sure law enforcement agencies understand the benefits of the new law, particularly around red flag laws. <sighs> get, in a, get in a fight with your wife. She red flags you. That's all it takes, guys. One time. Also known as extreme risk protection orders. And now it's not, it's not just your wife. It's your partner or or whatever you're doing, you know, or blowing or whatever. But anyway, it's it's that's the case. Uh, uh, also known as extreme arrest protection orders, which are intended to temporarily remove guns from people who potentially who with potentially violent behavior and prevent them from hurting themselves or others. Okay, just sitting there watching. Uh, Good morning with Jane Polly the other morning. Not that I really like to watch it, but I do like the trumpet thing on there. But they were talking about how you can actually, there is a thing, something law that you're trying to pass. And I can't remember the state. I actually took a video of it so I can remember so I can do it for you guys. But it's so you can put yourself on a no gun buy list. Well, once you put yourself on there, how do you convince these people to let you back on, you know, or take you off? Uh, last month, and, and this goes to the cases like once you get red flagged, what the, what, how, how much work do you have to do in order to get your stuff back? Last month, the Justice Department sent out more than $200 million to help states and District of Columbia administer red flag laws and other crisis interventions. Now, listen, here's the deal. If you're out there making threats, you're making a threat, and it's not a good thing. But for people to be able to report you for whatever reason they feel if somebody doesn't own a firearm or they're not accustomed to people who oh, maybe be a little overactive, uh, then you're going to get reported for anything stupid. And guess what? Uh, 4 a.m. knocking on the door. <laughs> yeah, long reported from Washington Associated Press writer Wednesday that contributed to this report. Okay. So that's all there is right now. Uh, if you like the video, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I know what I'm thinking. Anytime this guy touches something, he destroys everything and anything. So with that being said, guys, uh, that's it. Yeah. 
This is hot off the part, hot off the press. Again, uh, I'm going to give credit where credit's due. This is an article by the Associated Press with uh, Miss Colleen Long, and I've done a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff from her and Zeke Miller. But that being said, guys, we always end like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24 seven for our freedom because freedom is not free. We got a bunch of stuff we're doing. Arma Spec sent out some stuff. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do a video on these things and stay legal with YouTube, but we'll figure it out. Uh, more scope reviews and let me know what your thoughts are and if you made it this far Chinese made products it's hard to support or do a video on a Chinese made product knowing what's going on in our world to this day so if you made it this far give me a thumbs up if you like the video that's it y'all be good KB32 and in the great words of the real Cobra burnout boom <laughs>